The view of an Italian countryside from train window. Maribai Huking and Eliana Mason. Wow, every passenger is beautiful. Episode 2, Perugia, Italy. The camera follows Eliana holding a guide's shoulder. We are in the train station, trying to get to Perugia. It is crazy. It is very loud. Thank goodness we got some uh, assistance to get us to where our train is because it's really hard to find. We have about a two-hour train ride to get to Perugia from Rome. Trees from a moving train window. Maribai and Eliana are in a small elevator. I think everyone is excited to practice their English with us. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we have officially made it to Perugia. Oh my gosh. Uh, after a bit of a fiasco on the train. We, we couldn't figure out how to open the door. That right? was a mess. It was really stressful. You wouldn't think getting off a train would be so stressful. Yeah. They're having dinner at 10 p.m. It's very interesting. And then we're going to karaoke. <laughs> and then we're going to karaoke. Okay. Okay, well I guess we should probably change um, because I'm wearing sweatpants that I wore on the train and I can't go to karaoke in sweatpants. Eliana, did you get coffee? I sure did. We got coffee at it's 10 o'clock and we're going to karaoke and I'm so tired. I'm so glad we didn't have too early of a morning after our late night karaoke. <laughs> now we're headed to breakfast uh, with the rest of our group and then we have our our goal ball session this morning. We're super excited. Super excited. Back to the elevator. <laughs> Kids in blue t-shirts are being shown how to throw a goal ball on an outdoor soccer field. Oh, out! Oh, God! We're here in Italy. We're doing our clinic in Perugia. And I'm here. Can you tell us your name? Um, my name is Naomi. Naomi, and was this was this your first time doing goal ball? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me? Did you like it? Yes, I like to um, catch the ball. Noemi pounces oh, on the goal ball. Bravo. Eliana demonstrates throwing a goal ball. The only do sports outside this camp, so uh, I think it's really important for them to put themselves out and experience new things. I really like gold ball. Yeah. Oh, yay! <laughs> see, see? <laughs> so, what did you think about like uh, us teaching gold ball and working with the kids? Uh, yeah, I think that it's a, a very interesting sport. Eliana, oh, no. the students, wait, wait, and the wait. teachers do a hand stack. Oh! Okay, we're finally in our Uber on our way to our final our Airbnb fi of our here final in Italy. Our final Italy Airbnb. <laughs> We've spent every night in Italy at a different place. Oh my gosh, yes. It has been quite the adventure. We finally got to meet up with the group from Perugia. It was so rewarding to work with everybody. Every individual, they were so kind and um, welcoming and excited to learn and I had the best time. Yeah, it was with Real Eyes. They are an organization that works here in Italy to uh, provide sports to those who are blind or visually impaired and we had to adapt a lot of the pieces of the game. Uh, we were playing outdoors. We took turf. Uh, grassroots to a whole literal level today. We were playing goal ball on uh, some turf um, instead of the normal indoor court. Yes, we didn't have string and tape, uh, so we were using... Cones! It wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have worked on turf anyway, so we were using cones, and they were uh, using a blind soccer ball instead of goal balls. And then our, our blindfolds are more like comfortable eye sleep shades. You know what? It didn't matter because we all had so much fun. Yeah, it was really a good way for them to just learn the sport and kind of get a sense of listening for the ball and diving and blocking the ball. I thought it was so meaningful, uh, Naomi, who told us at the end that her grandparents um, don't really let her try things because they think they think that she can't do it and things like this like these experiences make her realize that she can yeah Hope she was, was so sweet. she's like I can it, I was, can. it was great and it was so she sweet. really liked goal ball and there was a couple other um, individuals there who said they had done it um, in July and wanted to really learn more about it and so they were so excited we were able to teach them and like share with them our experiences but it's definitely also difficult working with the language barrier. Oh yes. Uh, we really had to simplify the game down and it's already a hard game to explain and teach and then both of us are visually impaired. So. <laughs> we were so thankful we had um, a lot of people there who could translate and help us out. 
Um, big shout out to Elena and Sabrina for helping us with our translations. Oh my gosh, yeah, the team out there was incredible. Yes, so and kind, Francesca so fun. and all the families. It was really cool. A lot of the kids there had siblings, and um, a lot of them were trying to learn because they wanted it to be like inclusive and they want to learn like what their siblings experience. And I love like the family approach. We went to karaoke last night with the campers <laughs> and the staff at 10:30 p.m. Like, I'm sorry, I camp in the U.S. We get those kids to bed like 9 p.m. It's like yeah. lights out by 9.30. We're eating dinner at 9.30. One of the people in charge says to us, are you guys gonna come karaoke with us? And I was like, um, tonight? And she was like, yeah. And I said, just like the staff going? And she's like, nope, with the kids. We took them all karaoke. <laughs> And it was amazing. <laughs> and Mary Bye and I sang Love Story by Taylor oh Swift. Oh my god. It's a love story. Yeah. Baby, just say oh my god. So after we get to our Airbnb, um, we're thinking we're probably gonna get some dinner. We really want a nice sit-down meal after yes. the back and forth and the amazing people in Persia, but it was all very loud. So I think we're both excited to like sit down at dinner. Something quiet. <laughs> Not be rushing around. Uh, we also got an Airbnb that's right by the airport and right by the sea. So, so we're hoping to see the sea. We're supposed to be walking. Sea. We're supposed to be walking distance. So <laughs> we'll take you guys along for that if we do end up doing that. We yeah. also have a 6 a.m. flight to Santorini, so yes. we we might not make it. Karaoke really did us in. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> we get in at 7.30, so it might not be the late night we just had. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you there. Ah, you're so free. We're headed to dinner. Your dress is so cute. Thank you, it's very wrinkled. It. Okay, well, we've made it to our gates bright and early. It's like 4 or something. It's yeah. almost 5 a.m. We're gonna finish up this video here and we'll see you guys for the next one in Greece. See you in Greece.